Welcome, welcome everyone. This is Nancy Thompson and I am going live today. It's um, it's a different day. It's Saturday. Um, yeah, what is today? February 13th. So um, I'm not sure if many of you um, got my note that we were going live. So if you are, I would love for you to leave me a comment so I know that um, you're here to join me. So um, it's, um, I've got some strawberry fun to show you today as well as um, some projects um, that I'll be showcasing um, available for classes to go for the Jordan Elbridge class of 2021 fundraiser. So um, if you're tuning in, just let me know that you're here. Hi, Elaine. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I know I'm a few minutes late, so it's just getting the camera set up and and the lighting and all that other fun fun stuff so um and so um what are you doing today anything fun hello jessica um you're watching with your new recruit oh awesome awesome good for you yay um i'm so happy for you jessica okay hello yes it today is galentine's day so it's a day to um to wish your friends um happy valentine's day all your girlfriends out there so what a great day to even um have a stamping project to share with you today all my stamping friends so hello pat welcome welcome okay i see shirley's here too and i think i said hello gail so um so has anybody um gotten the strawberries bundle yet i just this is my first time using it so um i just i don't know it just kind of like uh, i didn't know what to share today so um i didn't start this project until just a little bit ago so i have a couple things to share with you um so i hope you enjoy it plus um i want to showcase um all the fun things for the jordan elbridge class of 2021 fundraiser okay it's a virtual crop they're doing and I'm um, thankful to be a part of it so um, so I think we're gonna kind of show out show those project first and then I'll show you the strawberry set okay hi Taylor and hi Wendy oh Kathy yes thank you for tuning in today so um, Kathy so if you're thinking of attending this you can see all the fun projects I have that can be pre-ordered ahead of time or even afterwards as well so let's um let me switch over my screen okay and we're gonna start with um and if you go to the jordan elbridge i think i posted a link on my facebook page so if you click that it takes you to the to their event page and um and then there's like a from there there's um a registration form that you can fill out to register um it's only a $10 fee for you to attend in that $10 fee because um, it's a virtual thing. It'll be a Zoom um, event all day, you know, all day long. And uh, with your $10 fee, uh, there, there'll be raffle prizes um, that will, um, for your $10 fee, okay? And then there's also additional raffle prizes that you can purchase. So my contribution is this package of designer paper. So you can purchase additional raffle tickets um, and you're gonna get six by six. These are all the designer paper from the mini catalog, okay? And I think I gotta add the that really pretty um, uh, like rose, um, Rococo rose and blushing bride and the Sahara sand um, designer paper in there too. So you're gonna get um, all the um, designer papers that are in the mini catalog, okay? Um, I think there's 57 packets in there. So so you can buy raffle tickets for that, um, okay? So let me set that aside. So um, what else is there? So let's start off with the first set of cards. These are kind of, these are, I should, didn't put what, the name of my um, um, cards are called. Okay, let me just grab that really quick. What my classes are called. These are the flowers for every season, okay? So this set includes five cards, okay? You're gonna get coordinating envelopes, 
Okay, so let me make sure. My lighting is really bad today for some reason. Let me see if I can tone this down a little bit. Um, maybe even just turn it off. Um, hmm, that's not as good either. Okay, hold on just a second. Let's, um, let's see if we can turn this, tone it down a little bit more. Okay, maybe even, um, I might even be able to zoom it in a little bit. Okay, okay, I think that's better. Maybe, um, today's a bad lighting day. Okay, well, um, here are some of the cards. These are the simply um, the flowers for every season. These are really easy. Uh, they use the Memories and More card packet. Okay, so this is how your kit would come with what is with the Memories and More card. Memories and More card pack is you're gonna get um, your ribbon to make bows. But um, what's cool about these? These make awesome, awesome cards. Okay. Um, I for this packet I highlighted the larger ones okay and then you still have all these um, you got some decals and everything I use celebrate on one of the cards right here but um, so that's part of that's um, kit number one okay if you there's an add-on kit okay because the add-on kit uses the rest of the little cards in this packet okay so that's kit number one. So let me just kind of um, move these out of the way. And then of course you have, um, you know, paper for to dress up your envelopes, but aren't they just beautiful? Boy, this lighting is, let me just kind of zoom in a little bit more. Maybe this will help it out a little bit. Okay. I don't know why this is causing me problems today. Okay, so hopefully that's better. Um, so I just love these. They're all pre-printed and they just make quick and simple cards and lots of times we love that. I gotta pay attention. I'm gonna go slow it down a little bit because I wanna be able to see your comments too. Um, love that paper and hope the bunch arrives soon too. Great, um, let's see. Okay, so that's kit number one. So the add-on is this. You're gonna get all the supplies to make, I'm gonna just kind of pull out one color scheme. So this is where I use the little Memories and More cards that come with kit two, kit number one. Okay, so you have to purchase kit number one in order to get kit number two because um, these are in your kit number one, okay? So you're gonna um, have the supplies to um, do all of that. So there's 15 cards in this kit. Okay, look at all of these cards that you can easily make and use whatever greeting that you happen to have on hand, okay? Um, and your punch pieces, your tailored um, punch pieces are already punched out. There's extra ones in there in case uh, you have a mistake or a smudge. Of course, you can always flip it over as well. So that is the Flowers for Every Season um, kits and this is this is what I had left over. I mean, this is kind of like what I had left over after um, using both kits. So you still have a few things. There's still a lot of um, decals, um, die cuts here that you can use. Um, there's still a few of these left and some of the larger ones, okay? So there's still are quite a few supplies left um, from your add-on if you use uh, kit number one. Okay, so so let me just focus. Um, I use the cling set um, Happy Thoughts, okay? It's in our mini catalog, and that's what I use uh, for all the words for all my classes. But easily you can use whatever words you have on hand. If you don't have words, you can handwrite it. You can always um, uh, die cut something out. Um, if you have some die cuts, word die cuts or or whatever you need to do to add some words to it if you don't have a stamp set with ink. And of course, all the kits, you need to have um, adhesives as well, dimensionals and um, whatever glue you're gonna use if, to adhere stuff with. Okay, so kit number three, four, and five, they're all the same type of sketches, okay? So everything's gonna come in your packet as well. I gotta move, so I'm... 
zoomed in, okay? So you're going to get your pre-cut cardstock. You've got some strips here, some circle die cuts, and of course your designer paper and matting, okay? So let me show you. This is the flower and field set here. So see how simple and easy these are? Anybody can do this for whatever level. And then you have some really beautiful cards um, to have on hand. And your kit includes um, your designer paper. Um, and these kit, this kit is $12, so it's really economical and, um, and it's a great way to help support the class. Um, the only thing I did do, I did use an embossing folder on the, the card base, okay? So that's totally up to you. I love using embossing folders. This one's the subtle embossing folder, but it could be your favorite one, but just adding that little bit of texture totally, I don't know if you will be able to see it on here, um, really adds a lot of dimension to it. So, so that is the flowers in fields um, kit, okay? And then a second choice is um, the paper blooms, using kind of the same sketch, and we're using, uh, focusing on the paper blooms designer paper. And these are just another fun way um, uh, to have some more quick and simple and easy cards to have on hand because um, let's face it, we're going to need to keep um, sending happy mail to our friends um, in the coming months. So um, let's see, what else is there? Um, then we have kit number three. Uh, well, I guess it's kit number five. Am I up to five? One, two, three. This is the Peony Garden. So this is using the same layout again, okay? So you've still got some. These are a little bit softer. These could be anniversary, thinking of yous, even, um, you know, even just a hello as well, okay? Sympathy, um, mail, you know, they, they could be, this could definitely be, like, generated towards um, um, the mail. Um, so... Okay, so that is kit number five. Okay, so then we have, so a little spin on things. This is the Flowers and Fields banner, okay? So we've got like this banner layout here. And we're gonna, there's six cards in this kit, okay? And um, just still very easy. Your die cuts are gonna be done. Um, you will need to banner your, um, these here, you know, um, flag the ends here. Um, I did use an embossing folder on this piece, but it's not necessary. So if you didn't have um, a die cut and emboss machine, you could still just leave it um, smooth and it would be totally fine. But I love adding the texture to it. Again, I use that, that awesome subtle folder. So um, anyways, Okay, so I see Patty's just joining in. Welcome, Patty. So there is the Flowers and Fields banner cards, which I, I just love this paper. It's, one, it's my favorite celebration paper. Okay, so what's next on my list? Um, scrapbooking. So I'm not sure how many people are scrapbookers, but um, I have some, you know, some fairly, or some easy layouts. Um, so here is, let me, I think I gotta zoom back out again. Let's um, zoom out a little bit more. Is that all it's gonna zoom? Okay, so this is really simple. I read, this is using our Memories and More kit again. So I love that Memories and More. This is already die cut for you as well as these. So it's just really putting your kit together. It's very, very simple, okay? And um, here's the second page of it. So this is a two-page layout um, for $12. So very easy. There's the, there'll be twine in here for this. You will need some dimensionals. And um, all these kits come with a PDF tutorial and most likely a YouTube video, okay? But they're just very easy to do. So with this kit, you're using the memories of more. You can see that um, I've used. Let me let me open this one up. I meant to pull this out before. Um, so here's a sample kit that you would get. Okay. So 
So all your little pieces in here, it uses the Memories and More cards, okay? There's um, some adhesive uh, die cuts here that you can accent, accent with, okay? Um, and all your little pieces and cards are in here. You, there's your twine. Um, whatever you need for the kit is in here. This layout does have all the matting, okay, for this done, pre-cut for you, okay? So it's just very simple to for you to see, all right? Because it's, um, this uh, page is actually, you know, because we're using the memories and more, and there's Pacific sizes, so I already pre-cut it for you, okay? So you can see the early espresso behind this memories and more photo here, okay? So I just put like a little, so this is one of our memories and more cards. All right, so very, very easy. So um, if you're interested in that, um, you can pre-order that. So my next one, I've got just two scrapbooking layouts. So here's this one, um, Horsey Pals, and there's our sweet horses. Oh my goodness, I still miss poor Daisy and Cody too. Those two were quite the pair. I'm sure many of you remember them. There's Mary Pat. Um, so, so anyway, so this, um, this kit here, your hearts are already pre-punched for you. And let me kind of, here's the second page. So it just kind of mimics each other. Okay. Um, I just added more photos. A lot's going to depend on what, um, what photos you need and how you want to accessorize. Now this one does not come with a pre-cut title. Okay. So let me show the kit on this one. So this one here, um, you have all your little package of embellishments. You've got your designer paper here that you need. And then there's two full sheets of Coastal Cabana to help mat your photos. And then a whole sheet of black cardstock for your title. Okay, so you have plenty of supplies. And of course, your white um, cardstock for um, your base. Okay, so that's the... Pony Pals, or I'm not sure what I called this one. I'm calling it hearts. This is my heart layout, okay? So, I don't know. I love this. The scrapbooking, I don't scrapbook that often, but I kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I try not to get mine too busy. So, um, so hopefully some of you enjoy that and would love to do it. So, these are all available. You can, um, there's an order form on the, um, and I'll probably be posting it on my Facebook page as well, a sign up where there's a registration form for the the crop itself, okay, where you pay your ten dollars, and if you want to purchase any extra raffle tickets, um, there's it's there for you to fill out. But then I have a second registration form for my class kits to go, okay, that you would fill out and do that. It's my first time using a Google Doc, so hopefully it all goes smooth. So what happened to Daisy? Was she sick? Um, she just kind of, she developed like pneumonia, Gail, and, um, she just couldn't recover from it. We've just finally had to put her down. It was, it was heartbreaking. Um, cause she was just, I'm not sure. She just couldn't like, we spent months and months with the vet trying to overcome it and she just couldn't like get it together. So, um, oh good, Elaine, I'm glad you love the banner cards. So, um, so anybody can take this class, um, but you still do need to register um, with the school. Um, so um, we at least get, because the class prices are a special price and, um, and I wanted those for um, crop participants to take advantage of that, okay? So you still need to register with uh, the Jordan Elbridge class, um, the $10 registration. Okay, so today oh i got one more thing a couple more things to show you so i have adhesive bundles that are being showcased this month okay so i'm not sure if i showed this before did you did i what i was doing with my lay of pins okay so the pins are going on these awesome bags okay and what's in the bags they're um they're adhesive bundles okay so it's a special price so what's in it? So this is the mini bundle, okay? You're gonna get a seal, our new seal, Stampin' Seal. Um, it's a dispenser and then there's there's um, a cartridge in there, already comes with it. You get a package of Stampin' Dimensionals and a package of mini dimensionals, okay? 
as well as the Tombow multi-purpose glue and the mini glue dots, okay? So you get those, what is there, five things there, plus this gorgeous bag with a pin that you can um, wear, you can put on a hat, um, your coat, whatever, okay? So this special price is $30, okay? And that includes tax and shipping, so it's it's a quite a deal. This is kind of part of my uh, Stampin' Nancy uh, 20th anniversary, okay? So, and now's a great time for you to take advantage uh, because it's celebration. So that's the mini. So the mega one is going to include all of this, plus you're going to get a seal plus dispenser. Now the one thing I'm not sure, I haven't really talked about the seal. Uh, the seal and the seal plus the cartridges both interchange with the dispenser so that's really really cool but I'm too lazy to like switch them all in and out so you really do want both dispensers so you never have to worry um, which one you're finishing up and started so all of that you're gonna get the seal plus plus a seal plus refill okay and then you're going to get the tear tape adhesive in here as well and this is great to be using for projects and to kick it off because all of this equals over fifty dollars you then also get to do a celebration choice boy this lighting still is awful i think it's the camera trying to zoom in so so that's even like uh even better Oh, that's okay, Gail. I mean, Gail, uh, I love remembering Daisy because it's just a lot of great memories. She just, in fact, I'll tell you about a memory with her, with the project I have to share. So, um, in just a second. So, I have all kinds of fun pins, as you see. It's just um, luck of the draw, whatever comes on your bag. And you're going to, all of this will still, it all still fits in this bag too. So that is the mega bundle and that is $51 for that. And don't forget your celebration choice because that's an awesome deal because the celebration choices are worth over 10 bucks. So um, cool time to do an adhesive bundle. So make sure, and the, this is good whether you come to the crop or not. Okay. And this is only good till the end of February. So if you want an adhesive bundle, um, just make sure to contact me about that, okay? All right, so let's do some stamping, yay! Okay, um, I gotta just clean my, reorganize here just a second. Um, so this is the first time I have touched my hands on this sweet strawberry and strawberry builder punch. This is like so cool, cool. There's lots more things to do with this. So, um, but I'll be doing more kind of tips and tricks on how to use the punch and, and, um, I'm probably going to be doing a class with this strawberry set coming up, you know, because this is, this is in the mini, the berry blessings is not in the mini. Okay. So the only way to get berry blessings is it's a celebration choice. When you purchase a hundred dollars, it can be your celebration choice. It's this gorgeous DSP, which I love. We keep clamoring Stampin' Up! to carry this over for us, the paper anyways, where people can buy it. Because, um, because it just goes so well with this strawberry set. It just screams summer. And, and this Berry Blessing stamp set. I love all the words in these two sets. They're, it's just, it's an awesome pair. And then this is just happy paper here too. But look at all these, you can see all the coordinating colors in the paper. Um, it's got these, the cool leaves and the flowers too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I love the blueberries and the, you know, the berries as well. It's just, it's a really good um, offering that they have. Okay, so do you want to see my project? Um, so, so strawberries. Um, Daisy loves strawberries. She would like, after I would make strawberry jam or whatever, or shortcake, and I would bring the toppings out to her, she would just chow them right down and her mouth was just foaming from the juices and everything. She just could not get enough of it. Strawberries were her favorite treat. Um, so, okay, so let's see. 
So you can find the strawberry bundle on page 44 in our mini catalog. And look at all these cool um, samples they have. They even kind of created um, a 3D strawberry here by just folding um, punched out berries um, in half and then adhering them together. So cool, cool thing. And then it doesn't even have to have strawberries. I don't know. Let's zoom in here. This one here just uses the flowers that go with that builder punch. So it's really awesome. And one of the cool things is this uh, punch here, our flower punch here, coordinates with the larger flower down here. And then this one goes with the builder punch. So really, it's good coordination with, um, with our products. So many of you may already have this because this was a celebration item. I don't know, was it yet last year or the year before? So, um, so that's a cool thing um, may, many of you might have already. Okay. Um, yes. Oh, hi, Wendy. I see you're just joining in. Yes. I, you have done some amazing things with it. Um, great projects. So I need to go back and look at them. Um, and tune in. All right. So our stamp set here. So this is the card I want to show you today. It uses, um, our wood, um, background here and of course our punch and flowers so um, and then I pulled in some daffodil delight um, ribbon here what's it called um, it is ruched ribbon rushed ribbon ruched ribbon I guess is what it's called so okay so but we're gonna do this in a different color scheme because you know me I love to um, use the paper effectively in creating different color schemes with it. So we're gonna just kind of take that same layout, okay? We're gonna first start with our wood grain, okay? And I need just a few more supplies here because we're going to, we're gonna pull in our blending brushes, okay? So we're gonna take crumb cake. This is crumb cake cardstock and I've already run it through the wood grain folder. Okay, can you see the grain on there? All right. So this is the deboss side. I kind of just wanted it to, to look like, um, oh, what do you wanna call it? Shiplap or whatever, you know? I just wanted it to look. So I'm gonna just pick up um, some crumb cake and you always want to tap on here first because this is just loaded with really wet ink and by tapping here first kind of avoids um you getting like a blobby look okay and then you can sponge as much or as little color on it as you want okay um because you're just blending here okay so Here we go. Let's let's just keep adding color. Has anybody wanted to purchase these blending brushes yet? I'm I'm in love with them because they just it's a great it's a nice smooth way to um, to add some color on. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It just kind of makes it look a little deeper and everything. It brings out the grain of the wood. So let's cover this up. So we're gonna use this designer paper here, okay? It's, it's Pacific Point is the color. So we're gonna take our banner punch and this is a two inch, two by four inch piece. And I'm gonna just pop it in here and punch this out, okay? So, um, so the magic of television, I've already pre-tied pre my bow because this was a little hard to do um, on designer paper. I, I don't mind it on cardstock, but your designer paper is a little, um, um, little fussier because it wants to move on you. Okay, Isn't, don't you love that blueberry paper, the blueberries? Oh. Okay, so let's just add this onto here, okay? I think I've got, I might squish that up just a little bit more. Okay, so what else we got here? Um, let's go ahead and just plop this onto our Pacific Point card base here, and then that will be done. 
I think I'm done with this. So, um, so does anybody love strawberries? Are you looking forward to strawberries to be coming out here soon? I know they're. I don't take time to read the notice in the in the store, but the store is having trouble getting them in. Okay, look at these gorgeous strawberries that are so easy um, to, to stamp and punch out. So let me give you a little tip on this, okay? Um, and this kind of, I feel, goes with um, all of them is to, let me think here, what do I want to stamp first? Is to, um, so this is Poppy Parade that I'm using. I'm going to use that for the solid. Um, part of the strawberry because this is two-stepping two which um, that's kind of one of the things that helped me fall in love um, with Stampin' Up was the two-stepping. I, I just love the feel of the look of it. Um, okay which do I want to do? I gotta think here for a minute. Okay I'm gonna do the outline first and here's another tip. If you're stamping like on a strip or something See how it's lined up in the punch? So this is the bottom of the punch. So you wanna make sure your berry is kind of going in that direction towards the edge, okay? And then you also want to stamp them, when you're doing several, you also want to stamp them far enough apart, okay? So, um, did I do this right? Yeah. So doing the outline makes it so much easier for you to line this up because you can see that edge of the outline so much better. See how perfect that is? Okay, my stamp is sticky. But let me just kind of show you, what if I did this? Okay, I stamped that. You can't like see the edge, it just kind of all blurs and you, you might not get it dead on. Actually, that one did pretty good. But I feel, I find it's easier to do the outline and then the solid part. Okay, so I'm kind of like blending brushes. Oh, yes. Okay, good. I'm glad some of you got some. Yay. Okay, so the punch. We're going to just pop this into here. So do you see what I mean about making sure you are um, far enough away? Because this could interfere with your stamped image. Okay, it's a little touchy to punch out. I mean, it's a little hard because there's four images kind of punching out. Okay. So you just want to make sure stuff is far enough away. All right. So we've got some strawberries punched and what else do we need to do? Um, I gotta look at my card. Okay. So we've got this and I've already put my top. So I did the same thing with my stems. I did the outline and then the inside. Okay. Um, so let's put this down full strength. Whoops, I think I want to also stamp my greeting first, okay? Because I want to make sure I don't. Um, this says hello there, okay? Make sure I have room for this. And now I'm going to pop this one up on dimensionals. Here we go. Ooh. I didn't pre-do my yellow flowers. Okay, we'll do those. Those are only take a second. Okay, so let's add some yellow flowers. Now, because um, I didn't stamp these, let me just cut some of these, cover some of these. Okay, um, so I've got for my yellows, I'm using Daffodil Delight for the base. Okay. And then crush curry for the outline is what I'm doing. So let's see if you guys can see the difference. We're gonna use crush curry for the outline. Okay, I want two of these. And then we're gonna use the Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna stamp off, because I just want this light. Okay, there we go, all right. It was so much easier to see the outline. Of course, I might not have been in shot there. So if I wasn't, I'm sorry. All right. Um, and then you can see, you want to kind of be thinking again how far away you stamped in the direction of your stamp as well. This is a great way to um, 
to use up all your scraps too. I'm, I'm constantly, I, cause these are just little scrap strips that I had in my scrap folder. So, okay, that's done. So let's add some flowers to this. Um, looking for glue dots. Here we go. Here's some glue dots. This is just so tiny. So I'm going to just use a glue dot to put one here. And then let's put a dimensional with this, okay, and add that on, all right. And then let's add, um, do I have something else here? I feel like, oh, here we go. All right, let's add some Wink Estella, okay. This is just going to kind of glitz it up here. Wink Estella is always good on everything. You know what, maybe I'll just even add it on my strawberries. This kind of moves the the ink around as well. Can you see the the ink changing colors from the Wink of Stella? Kind of makes it a little more orangey. And then just so that's just got a little bit of Wink of Stella on it. And we're gonna add some of these um, elegant faceted gems to the middle of our flowers. Okay, so we're gonna use the pick tool here. Take a pick tool. Let's see, I want, do I have white? I want the white centers here. We're gonna just do this. This kind of adds another dimension to it. There we go. Oh, that's off center a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's add some more dimensionals here to our back. Let's pop this up as well. Okay, how, how many are liking this card? The strawberry also looks like a gumdrop. Oh, that's a good thing. They look like a nose. They do kind of look like a nose. I made a template so I could punch all the shapes out at once. Yes, Patty, that is a great idea. Um, I didn't kind of get into that today because we were using, but there is a great, that is a great tip to do that. So it could be in a future video. All right, there we go. What do you, whoops, I think I look crooked there. What do you guys think? So let's, before we finish, I didn't get envelopes. I guess I'll have to dress up some envelopes because I didn't even get any cardstock ready. As I said, this was more stupid on the fly. Okay, so let's add a strawberry here. Maybe there's enough ink on here. Oh, yes. Okay. And um, I didn't do the tops. Okay, so you guys can see the tops. With the tops, I did um, Garden Green and um, Granny Apple. I gotta look for my. Here we go. Kind of, we're gonna just plop this onto here. Okay, that kind of looks okay by its, I'm out of screenshot, aren't I? That kind of looks okay by itself there. Um, and then let's add, let's add the granny apple to the inside. Can you see? Well, I, you probably can't see, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then we could always just add um, some more yellow as well. I should have left these open. I don't know where the other yellow went. Oh, here we go. All right, so here's my crushed curry here. Let's just add a flower down here. And I need to stamp off on something, but I guess it's going to be full strength. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So let's add this to the inside of our card here. My desk is a mess. There's too much stuff here. So, so is anybody that's here interested in joining me at the Elbridge Virtual Crop on Saturday, 20, February 27th? Let me know. Because I, I just want to make sure you get registered and that you don't have an issue with the registration. If you're interested in any of these classes, um, that as well. 
So I kind of like these. So you can see the difference. I'm not sure if I like using the Wink of Stella on these, but maybe I'll post these and you guys can let me know. Wink of Stella or no Wink of Stella. So um, we could do a little poll to see. Okay, well, I'll um, dress up some envelopes for some lucky winner to um, get these in the mail. Okay, so um, does anybody have any questions? You need to buy more. I know. Um, I don't know. They haven't said that it's going to be in the next catalog, Gail. So that just kind of like, yeah. Um, we're all clamoring for it, but it's whether they decide to. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But I just think it's just beautiful paper. Okay, yes, I know Wendy's going. Didn't used to do my envelopes, and now I do. Yes, oh, doing the envelopes um, is just, I think it just really helps. Um, the surprise when people go to the mailbox and say, oh, I've got happy mail today. You know, it's just so much more. So let me just look to see. Does anybody have any questions? Is there a stamp set in the mini catalog or a celebration set that um, you would love for me to, um, to uh, showcase? So let me know about that. Or is there a technique that... Um, I'm trying to reach my sticky notes. They're kind of like down in this bucket. So I can do some lucky winners um, today. Okay, so we got lucky number number eight and number 27 for a comment winner. Okay, so let me just check to see um, who... Um, so there we go. Okay. Um, is there any other questions? So I, I'm glad, so happy that you um, came to um, join me for Galentine's Day and to see what was what all the hoopla was about um, the strawberries and the Jordan Elbridge class. So um, let's see. I don't know if I'll be back on Tuesday, but you never know. We will see. Um, what DSP did you say you used? Uh, Kathy, today's project was using the Berry Blessings designer paper. It's It comes with a stamp set here, which is right here. It's a celebration choice. So this is the $100 level. Um, and this is, you get the stamp set and a package of 12 by, whoops, here we go. I'm looking here. You get the stamp set. Um, Berry Blessings and the designer paper. It's a hundred dollar level. So um, it, it's a celebration choice. So I hope that, I think that's what you were look, were asking about. Yes, Pat, Wink of Stella is awesome too. So, so um, message me if there's something that you want to see. I don't, I can't guarantee it, but you never know. And um, we will see you either well, Galentine's, Galentine's, the actual Galentine's Day is today, but I am doing a Galentine event on March 13th, okay? And I haven't, it's all about shimmer paint, okay? We're going to be using shimmer. How to add some shimmer to your um, crafting. So, so that's coming up. So I will start, I need to start talking about that as well. So I guess we'll talk about that this next week is the Galentine um, Day event, Okay. So there's cool things with that. That's a kit to go um, as well. It'll be a Zoom event and um, it'll be fun. So, okay. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me and have a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Celebrate those that you love and we will see you next week. Thanks so much. And if anybody needs to purchase anything, or just make sure you like, share, and follow. I'm not seeing too many hearts today. So give me lots of hearts or thumbs up um, as well. And if you do need to place an order here, whoops, that's not the right one. Um, you can go to my website and um, uh, createwithnancy.com and that will show you the hostess code and there's a link there to go directly to my online store as well. Okay, thanks so much and have an awesome night. Bye-bye.